Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. This here's Porty's Garage. Well really, I'm outside Porty's Garage. We need to get this baby inside Porty's Garage. Uh, with that, as you guys saw in the first video, we got a little bit of a problem here at the wheel. So what I'm gonna try to do is get this fender off, see if we can't get something rigged up here so we can get this in. I've got a few wheel dollies I'll put on the car so we can kind of get it over to the garage. And then uh, I guess probably have to use the jack a little bit, jack it up to get over the lip there. But uh, let's see what we can do. It's gonna rain uh, tomorrow and the whole weekend, so I wanna get this in the garage so we can work on it. All right, let's get to it. All right, the first thing I'm gonna do here is try to get this fender out. There's bolts uh, right up here in this slot, and then there's a couple back here, and I honestly don't know how I'm gonna get to those yet. So I uh, may end up having to jack up the car. I'll kind of put this on a little time lapse. If I got anything to say, I'll break in. Otherwise, enjoy it. I may be better off just getting this in the garage first. Let's see if we can do that. See how this goes. Should be a shit show.
Hey guys, you can see I got the uh, car into the garage. Sorry about that. The battery on the GoPro died when I was trying to wrangle that in. It was very difficult and very painful. I'm a little sore today. Even got the tractor involved trying to get this puppy in here. But as you can see, after I got it in here, I did a little work last night. Got the wheel off here, the whole hub assembly, uh, tie rod here. Uh, it does look like I might be able to save this. I'm hoping the braking pieces are good with the rotor and the caliper, but we'll have to see when we get it disconnected from the, uh, the actual rim here. Uh, ironically enough, there is no hub lock key anywhere in the car. So I had to order one of those. It's gonna take about a week to get here. So more to come on that one. Uh, you can see the front strut here bent. Um, not usable. Hopefully we can reuse the spring. The, uh, the remaining piece of the wheel liner that was wedged into the uh, fender, got that off. Probably gonna need to replace that. Looks pretty chewed up there. And then the brackets for the front radiator. Toast, not using that again. But uh, <laughs> a lot of tools it took me to get this off. That strut was really difficult. So looking under here, it's really not nearly as bad as I thought it would be or could be. This whole section up in here is really good, no really damage. Maybe a little bit of scuffing and, and whatnot down here, uh, but no big dents or anything like that. Obviously, this is our biggest point of concern that we'll need to tackle once we get the, the fender and the door off. Um, drop link here replaced. Uh, I guess this is the brake line, yeah, yeah, brake line. That's gonna need to be replaced. Your two lower control arms ripped right off. Uh, ironically, I didn't get those with all the broken down parts, so they must have got left on site. Um, tie rod end, I think it said that. Two things that um, did not like to see in here. One, the shock tower, uh, it separated a little bit. I'm gonna have to tear apart the inside of the trunk a little bit to see how that turns out and if we can repair that. The other piece was the uh, mounting point for the front radiator. Um, that looks like we've got a little bit of issue there. I don't know if that's a stud there or if it's just from welding, but the top part looks like it's welded. We'll have to get into that. So thank you for joining me on this journey. I'm looking forward to this project. Gonna have a lot of videos coming out. Stay with us. Make sure you like and subscribe. We'll see you guys on the next one. Mm -hmm.